Welcome back to Pajama Sam 2, everybody! So last time we went exploring the Weber factory, found out how Weber was made, and then we learned that we can't get inside the actual building of Worldwide Weber unless we make an appointment. By telephone only. You know what that means. There's just one problem, we don't know the phone Hello number to call them. Again, sir. Well, thank you, good sir. Fortunately, there's one thing we didn't check yet that will tell us. This little memo on the wall. Memo to employees for appointment style 681. Well, alright. Thank goodness that was around. Hello again, sir. You don't have to say that every time. Welcome to the world. 681. Worldwide weather, how may I help you? I'd like to make an appointment to see someone. Certainly, let me check his calendar. Yes, Mr. Someone is available immediately. I'll pencil you in. What is your name? I'm Pajama Sam! I'm Very helping... Good, Mr. Sam. Mr. Someone will see you just as soon as you arrive. Goodbye. Well, that worked out. <laughs> it's one of those who's on first kind of situations. Not quite as comical, though. Hey, dude. I'm oh, helping! Yes, here it is. Go right on in, Mr. Sam. Mr. Someone is ready for you. Thanks. Sweet! Good day, Mr. Sam. Well, that was easy. Alright, so there's a lot of different places we could go. Uh, what? Let's try the bathroom. It's locked! That probably means there's someone in there. Hey, what's this? That looks like something on the list of weather machine pieces I'm supposed to find. Yes, I think it's part of the Velocimometer. Yay! Oops, I'm sorry. Is that you, Velocimometer? Yes, I'm lost. Don't worry, I'm Pajama Sam. I'm here to help you. Can you unlock the door from in there? I don't think so. Well, never fear. I'll get you out. Thank you. How did she get locked inside the bathroom? That's what I want to know. Oh well, we'll have to come back and save her later. In the meantime, let's go for this door. Ah. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. Who sent you? I'm working very hard. You'd be amazed what a difficult job it is being in charge of, 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 of all, all the supplies. I'm sure it is. George, someone sent you over here to, 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 to check up on me, didn't he? He thought you'd catch me not doing my job so he can get that, that big promotion, right? No, nobody sent me over here. Nobody? Uh-huh. Really? Really. Well, <laughs> that's a relief. I gotta say, I love the design on this guy. They really make him look like a stapler and also as a, like an anthropomorphic stapler. It's great. There's one! Oh, we're completing the puzzle pretty soon. Despite what other people might say, I'm, I'm taking very good care of the supplies. I don't give out anything without the proper form. I guess that's good. It certainly is. Yes, it is. What are those? Oh, those are old typewriter ribbons. Can I have a typewriter ribbon? Of course not. Nobody uses typewriters anymore. <laughs> Can I have a paper clip? No. Somebody might need them. I <laughs> uh, that's I don't, honestly paper clips are hard. It's pretty much useless in my world. Can I have a highlighter pen? No. Those are on double secret reserve. Oh, really? Can I have a number two pencil? No, I have to keep those in case I have to take a test. <laughs> this guy's a riot. Can I have the lobster? That was really catchy music. I'm a real stickler for paperwork, you know. What's a stickler? Oh, well, I insist on seeing the proper form before I give out office supplies. I think you said that already. It's very important in case anyone asks. 
<laughs> that is true. Uh, having worked in a large company, bureaucracy is a very big thing there. Can I have a piece of paper? No, the paper is going to be recycled. <laughs> Can I have a staple? No, I, I don't. I don't even have enough for myself. Oh. <laughs> Can I have a red ballpoint pen? No, those are for emergencies only. <laughs> oh, this guy. Could I have one of your rubber bands? A rubber band? Sure. I, I, I suppose I could spare a rubber band. Let's see your P seventy six slash Z form. My what? You don't have a P seventy six slash Z? I don't even know what that is. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. No P76 slash Z. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> well, where do I get a P76, um, what you said? Slash Z. Summary request for stretchable office paraphernalia. Well, I can give you the form. Oh, that's nice of him. But you'll have to get it signed by by the vice president in charge of paper clips and rubber bands. And then I can have a rubber band. As long as everything is in order, yes. Bring me the signed form, and you can have a rubber band. Okay, thanks. <laughs> sure. All right. Well, thank you, man. I still really like his design. He's so cute. Just very good job on the developers, and I love how he drops a staple every time he like clamps himself shut in surprise. Uh, let's try going in through here. Ah, you must be Pajama Sam. Uh-huh. I'm George Someone, the <laughs> personnel manager. Glad to see you could get here so quickly. No problem. Okay. Very subtle joke that I did not get until I was an adult. So the stapler in the other room is like, wait, George, someone, he sent you, like, to check up on me and, like, try to get me fired, right? Yeah, that guy's a stapler. George, someone is a staple remover. I love it. There's one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> that was worth it. All right, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Really, Pajama Sam? Really? It's blank. I must be non-photo blue. <laughs> it's true. You look like you're thinking about something. You're right. I'm thinking about a nice, juicy, delicious apple. I'm really hungry, and I can't resist apples. Oh, that's good to know. Hey, what's in this filing cabinet, dude? What's in the file cabinet? Hmm? Oh, that's got files on all the employees, from Applebaum to Zwicky. Boy, I could sure go for an apple. Hmm. It could be useful to see uh, what's in that file cabinet. Unfortunately, we can't because he's there. What's in these grand doors? I must know. And so, with the departure of Mr. Hereford, we are left with an empty seat on the board. Say, how come none of us have got a place to sit? Mr. Splinter, please. Decorum <laughs> must be observed. No new business until we've dispensed with the old business. Oh, hello. Just dust round the picture frames for now. You can vacuum later when we've finished. Dust? But I... Now then, where were we? Ah, yes. Finding a new board member to fill the empty seat. Any suggestions? Well, how about that rock over in the VP of Paperclip's office? <laughs> yes, perhaps. It might be a bit dense for this job, though. Any other ideas? <laughs> oh, man, this is great. So remember from my Pajama Sim 1 Let's Play, there were those... Bill, the security guy out front. I'm afraid he wouldn't fit in. Really? He seems like a good fellow. No. I mean, I don't think he'd fit through the door. Oh. <laughs> These are the boards that we pried off the mine entrance in that one playthrough. And there hey, are... Hey, what about Bernie from the research department? If we promote him, there won't be anybody left to do any research. Hmm. And there, of course, there are more pictures on the wall of Darkness's Maybe house. Maybe we could get uh, Gil Emilio? I'd really rather stick to people inside the company. Here's another one! I do love the, their discussion, though. This, this is great. I've actually never listened to all this stuff.
They might be done talking. That guy looks pretty bored. But I never have anyone to play with. No one ever wants to come over and play fun games with me. Maybe we can play some more tomorrow night. Sure, Darkness. I miss Darkness. He's he's great. He's one of the best video game characters ever. And a good ever. day to you as well. And a good day to you as well. All right, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nobody here but us pieces of furniture. Is he? Yes. That cheesy 70s disco, it's great. How come you guys don't have chairs? We should have something to sit on, but there seems to be a little problem getting that organized. All in due time. I guess you're the boss, right? I'm the chairman of the board, yes. <laughs> oh, that's a great pun. Don't you guys get uncomfortable standing up all the time? Yeah, I'm stiff as a board. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your pun with me. I'll bet all kinds of important work gets done in here, huh? <coughs> well... I guess you could say that. You would not believe what gets done in these meetings. What exactly are you doing? It's been very quiet. Oh, please. It's just a stool to be sat upon. How come nobody's sitting on it? Yeah. 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 The stool will be occupied by our new board member when we have found one. Can I be the new board member? Well, I hardly think. Yeah. What about the kid? I like his ideas. What's your name, kid? <laughs> I'm Pajama Sam. I'm well, helping. I nominate Pajama Sam for a seat on the board. Second. Oh, that's nice. They're all right, but he will have to pass the test. Test? Just a few questions about running a business. We can start now. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. I don't know much about business. Go ahead and choose a question out of the hat. I did not. I'm not majoring in business in college. I'm majoring in computer science and mathematics as a minor. Hey, dude, I just want to take this. Boy, that's a big key. That is the key to the executive restroom. I'm afraid it's for board members only. Oh, okay. Then who locked the velocimometer in there? Come on. Riveting. Let's try the test. Alright, uh, first question. What is kept in the first room of the warehouse? Oh, we tried going in there. It's Hale. Hale. Yes, Hale is right. <laughs> Look at that dance. Look Where'd at that dance. <laughs> yes, well, there are still three more areas to go. Unfortunately, unlike the quiz from Pajama Sam 1, Anyone getting the questions for wrong. The board seat? Go ahead and choose a question. What two things combine to make water? Getting the questions wrong is not really funny hydrogen or beneficial. and oxygen. H2 and O. It's hydrogen. Hydrogen and oxygen. Yes, that's right. Water is made of hydrogen and oxygen. Two hydrogen uh, uh, atoms and See, one oxygen I atom. I knew he'd make a good board member. Now, now, he's not finished yet. There are still two more sections to be passed. Well, these questions haven't really Go been ahead about business. And choose a question. What is the smallest coin used in the United States of America? In terms of monetary value, the penny. The in terms dime. of actual size, it's the dime. The dime. Well, yes. Actually, I suppose technically the dime is the smallest. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Good job, Sam. Yes, I suppose that was rather impressive. Still, <laughs> there is one last section to pass before we can confirm you as a board member. All right. Go ahead. How and hard could it be? Question. Explain Giffen's paradox. I really don't have a lot of time for hard questions like this. Be that as it may, you're going to have to find a way to answer the question. Oh. That's a really tough question. I think we should disallow it. No. Knowledge of economics is essential for a member of the board. Oh, well. If only we had an economics expert here. Let's go into the VP's room. This looks awesome. Ah, hey lady, what's up? Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. 
That's nice. Could I see the vice president, please? No. He's very busy. Hmm. Darkness is house. Oh, there's a safe. That was worth it. <laughs> hey, it's a banana! I need you to... What's up, Rock? Hi, little fella. Um, can you get this form signed? I'd like to have the vice president sign this, please. He doesn't have time for that. Look at all these other things he has to sign. We can't take any more forms today. Oh, what? Is that why the rock is on top of it? By the way, that is completely the same rock that was near Darkness's house that helped us get inside. <laughs> I don't think he wants me to put this in there. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Oh, what a rock. Well, looks like we're at a dead end here. But there's still one room we haven't gone into, the lunch room. And it's the best one. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Here's another one. We have two pieces left. It's cheese giblets. I need it's cheese giblets. I need a coin to get them. Well, hey, we happen to have two coins right here. <laughs> Vending machines are like paradise when you're a kid. Giblets are my favorite. Uh, I like cheese its not cheese giblets, though. That sounds gross. Tic tac toe with ketchup and mustard. Oh my gosh, you actually can play tic tac toe. That's amazing. I actually literally never knew about this. That's great. <laughs> this is amazing. It's cheese giblet. Oh, hey, there's an apple core in the trash. Apple core. Baltimore. What? Never mind. <laughs> One of the most random and yet hilarious parts of Pajama Sim 2. Apple Corn, Baltimore. All right. Well, now that we've got cheese giblets, there might be something we could do in the vice president's room. Uh, but first, we have to eat some for ourselves. I love doing that. Hey, little rock. You like cheese giblets? Well, now that the rock's up, let's put our form down. I love how the rock is basically a dog. Rhoda, could you send in that stack of forms for me to sign? Yes, Mr. Vice President. Okay, the Vice President sounded like Mr. Nesbitt. Wow, that was fast. Holy cow! The President's- the Vice President signed those in like a second. Literally, uh, one uh, second. All signed and ready to go. Nice. Seriously, the vice president sounded like Mr. Nezer from VeggieTales. In the best possible way. Alright, well, now that we've got that, we can get ourselves a rubber band. Don't slam the door, this guy startles easily. Here's my form. Can I have a rubber band now, please? Oh, huh. well... Everything appears to be in order. I guess I'll have to give you a rubber band. <laughs> That's a great pose of Pajama Sam. <laughs> Thanks! Uh, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Alright. 
I think, once again, we're out of time for this episode. Man, this... I'm trying to keep these episodes short, because Jumanga's Entertainment episodes should be short. And it seems like we're making no progress, but I'm guessing one or two episodes more, and we will beat it. Because it just so happens that we are saving all of the guys for last. So, we haven't actually saved anybody, but we are more than halfway through this Let's Play, definitely. Hope to see you next time. Have a great day, and God bless.